Yo! It's your girl. It's Don't Call Me White Girl. We're fucking rolling and we're back. Woo! I wanted you to hear that woo. It sound real raspy and ashy. Whatever. Um, Dre plays the piano. Just watched him do it. That was awkward. Another reason why you know you're not this shit, Ronald. Because <laughs> you can't play the piano and you don't have one app. And Dre got five. But if you want to feel better about yourself, just know the nigga don't got six or eight. He has five. I count it. My nigga here, he's from Boston. We got Derek in the building. Is that your show name? No, it's not. Damn. Should I not say that? Blur that. What's your show name? America. His show name's America. And since he <laughs> wants to be in his gang, he has to let me wear his jewelry. I didn't wear the AP. So really, we ain't no AP yet. Where the fuck is it? On the way, still in the store. All right, all right, America. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of my guy. I posted on my Instagram page a hilarious video about Siamese twins getting fucked in the ass. He played the guy that got fucked in the ass. He did so well at it. Like, when you talk about adapting a character, like, Tom, he lived in that moment. Like, mm-hmm. Like in the eyes, in his eyes, you know what I mean? As the imaginary penis was thrust into his oh, anal yeah. cavity. It was perfectly done because this guy's straight. You know what I mean? He's in a relationship. He's a fucking actor. And we loved it. I know you said home like, oh my God. Because every person that I've met and I'm like, yo, he's the sign me too. They're like, what the fuck? <laughs> right? I don't know how you, how you go there in your mind, you know? Yeah. What does it take for you to say, boom, I want to get fucking ass as a Siamese twin? So I didn't look at it like that. You okay. feel me? Okay. All right. But yeah, I see how you could have viewed it as that. Yeah. We're going to do some skits, right? Let's do it. He's skit guy. That's not really my thing, but I want to do it. Tom, you know I want to do a skit. I want to be cool like the other Instagram kids. They get together and they make videos together. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Phelps is here. Yo. Dick down to his knees. You know how Phelps get down. Listen, y'all are filming. Y'all are feeling Phelps DM, and I want to let you know. I think it's wrong. I think it's cool that y'all feeling feeling the DMs. Like it's whatever. You know, it's like nothing will overshadow this cat and the hold it has on Phelps. (laughs) Um, But the men, there's men in Phelps DM. There's literally men, and it's like Phelps is first of all us here. Don't call me white girl podcast are fucking down. With everything. God damn it, you could fuck an orange here. And we're like, hey, you want a yeah, cantaloupe? Don't judge, do your thing. Listen, we are pro fuck oranges. No fucking kids or rabbits. Nothing illegal. You know what I mean? But like bowls or whatever. Derek, honestly, this is let you know specifically. Mm-hmm. You can't even fuck in the butt in some states. Mm, what states are those? Southern. I don't mm-hmm. go down there. Okay. Um, either way, Phelps, uh, Phelps here. Is getting a lot of like a mass amount of homosexuals in his DM, and it's, it's a little jarring. Phelps is straight. Phelps like women. You got to have check, ass. Check check. You got to have ass and hair Sometimes. and a job. You'll do no ass. Not no ass. So let me fucking say the thing before you get all the square back bitches in your DM and then it's a fucking issue. He likes ass. He likes hips. He likes intelligent. He loves a good debate. He argues all day long. It's so draining. But it's like a fun one. Like he'll argue with you. Fuck you good. Phelps is a great guy. Phelps is straight. Stop coming. What do you think about that though? Like on some real shit without ruffling too many feathers because Lord knows I hate to ruffle feathers. It's the last thing I want to do. But like Gay guys shooting their shot to guys that look straight online. Everybody's scared. You got niggas scared. Gay question. community people are scared to respond. They're scared. Nobody leave, that never happened to me. I just I leave know. them where they at. I mean, yeah, it didn't start until you you put me on the you put me the lights on me. It was never happening before that. So that first guy to ever try to like fuck you whoa, can't do whoa, me. Whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. That's not what happened. Fuck with you. I guess the first guy that approached me via DM. The DM that I read today, his exact words were like, you're 5'5", five, five, but that dick 5'9", I think it was, he said. Damn. It was something like that. And you were spicy. I read your DM, Kinky. You're spicy. And you call yourself a fan or a cousin. What if I was fucking on Phelps, nigga? You gonna slide on my shit like that? Wow. Hater. Exactly. <laughs> no, but like, for me... I don't know, because, like, 
I don't I don't know. I don't even I know. Mean, I just leave it where it's at. I don't disrespect nobody. And it doesn't offend you, right? Nah. I don't know. I don't know. I it's don't not even like nobody running down say. me on person violating. So that's the internet. The, the internet gives them the opportunity to do that. So they take an opportunity, but they still just going to be where they at with that shit. I mean, honest truth, a lot of straight guys fuck guys. So it's like, you can't even say a gay guy. Well, why? First of all, how do you know if he's gay or straight by the look of them? That's already weird. And then number two, it's like, Straight niggas like dick, so it's like you wouldn't know if the guy like dick until you damn him the eyeballs. Or remember back in the day, you got something in your eye. Remember that? What Young year was motherfuckers. This? It was a movie that came out some years ago. Is that a signal? Right. Do you know what I'm talking about? Okay, so listen, that's the movie. That. You go in the bathroom, right? You're in the male bathroom. Using the urinals, whatever you do, shake it off, wash your hands, right? The guy says, hey, I think it's something in your eye. You need me to blow it out? What? And that's the signal for, can I blow your cock? Hey, yo. Yeah. Nah. Yeah, that's it. It was a movie, you know, about that year. Well, either way, I don't know what the secret signal you I is. I talking to me in the bathroom. <laughs> Honestly, you have on some gay-friendly merch right now. Shout out to Gangsta Friends and Quality Diesel over there. Yeah. Right? We fuck with him, but Phelps ain't fucking Man, with you. His butthole's off limits to women and men, and he don't want you. Okay? Tennis mm. ball. Yeah, Shout out to them people. Head. I got friends. They cool. Yeah, whatever. But he's not gay. And honestly, y'all need a hand signal or something. Because <laughs> even me, when I said whatever I allegedly said that I allegedly apologize about, um, and I meant it a little bit. I heard y'all. But how y'all know I'm not a lesbian? Right? I could say nigga. You know what I mean? First coochie I lick. I'm saying all the words I wasn't allowed to say. All right? <laughs> All right. Um, no, we're excited. We're in L.A. So now we are L.A. America. I'm Crenshaw Mona. And you West Coast Phelps, L.A. time. We are the L.A. crew. I mean, literally, our flight was supposed to leave yesterday. We all like, fuck our family. You know what I mean? Fuck our wives. Fuck our kids. Like, we like it here. Listen, I don't know if y'all know this about me, but. I, I think I'm sure I shared it. I suffer from anxiety and depression. I'm always like in my room. It's very dark. It's murky, black and mild smoke and rappers everywhere. You know what I mean? It gives you almost, remember Kanye's album with Whitney, Whitney Houston in the bathroom, that counter? <laughs> it's like that minus pipe. That was Pusha T's album, right? Oh, Pusha yeah, T's yeah, album. Yeah, Shout yeah, out to Pusha T. I'm a Pusha T fan. Yeah. Um, kind of harsh of album cover, but it was lit, you know? And, um, that's that's kind of how I live. It's kind of rough. You know what I mean? Cups of ice, heaters and shit, two pair of socks. It's sad. I ain't Deep getting in the fucked. Trenches. It, I'm not getting fucked. You know what I mean, America? Gotcha. I don't like the America thing. We got to fix that. Um, fix. Yeah, because it's not going <laughs> to flow right. Like, America hates niggas. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> that's um, why the K in there. Oh, America. I never pronounced it like that, but that works. Try that. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. <laughs> No, but we really like it here. Tom, as soon as I got off the plane, I was like, oh my God, I'm texting people back. I started texting people back months ago. Like the energy when I started. People, I go I called them. I'm like, hey, how you been? They're like, we got to do that meet. I'm like, I'm in LA. You know what I mean? I'm busy. But I like, I just keep having this weird urge. It's very, like it's this weird urge to jog. You know what I mean? Like I want to jog. Tom wanted to go to the gym and play basketball with gangbangers. I was like, <laughs> don't go. Don't go. You don't have a bandana. And they're going to beat you up. <laughs> Either way, um, we like it here. We're staying extra days. We're never going home. Find a new mom. I mean, if you're <laughs> listening, find a new mother. Mommy loves you. Mommy loves you. Go be free. You Live your life. Like Live your life. Smush who? <laughs> <laughs> Smush who? What is it? Smush smash smash burger? I did see a smash, smash burger. burger. <laughs> LA even has a smash burger. Either way, um, no, I think I live here. Uh, we might be manifesting that. We might be manifesting a fucking move. They hate when I switch the segments around. In fact, fuck everybody in this room. Manifestation. I manifest um manifesting for this whole room to move to LA with me, apply for food stamps, shack up all together and make it work. 
Yes, are you here? Dre don't like the food stamp. California love. Cue the fucking West Coast music. Can we learn how to crip walk while we out here? I got it already, right, nigga. Whoa, whoa, you better whoa, learn. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, the gang activity. <laughs> 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 hey, yeah. listen now. It's, 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 tricky. it's tricky. It's tricky. I don't need to be cool with everybody. Red, blue, green. <laughs> You Shout out me? to Big Ski. We just met Big Ski. I did Adam Jumper's podcast. Yeah. That was cool. You didn't feel affiliated. What am though? I calling this nigga? Adam Jumper. <laughs> I'm calling him Adam Jumper, but his name is Adam 22. Yikes. Yeah. I said that in his face. He ain't correct you. Wow. I called him Adam Jumper more than once. Yeah. Fuck me. <laughs> it was fuck, right? fuck, fuck. <laughs> I hate being me sometimes. I don't do that name thing on purpose all the time. Wow. He took it with stride. He took it with stride. I did the same thing. To Apion Crockett. I called him Avion like three times face to face. He was like, I think he said, bitch, my name is Apion. He said I added a letter. And Still now I'm probably doing it and wrong. Your name is five words. That's fucked up. You can't get one and two Don't words. Don't you name tell my person. business owner. Google me. Shut up. Um, I will tell your name as soon as everything's straight with mine. You know what I mean? I'll give it up. I would love to know, Craves here. Craves, I would love to know what's Avion Crockett's name. Is it Apion or Avion? Can you look for me, Craves? Seriously, it's a real request. It's Apion. So I X. added the letter. So that was solely, hey, shout out to you, Mr. Crockett. I loved you on In Soul Brothers, right? Bernie Mac's last movie. I loved you there. Yo, I fucking love that movie. What a way to go out, man. I love Bernie Mac. He's one of my faves. Um, yeah, so just to let y'all know, if you've never been to L.A., your life's shitty. And it is. It's Atheon with an F. Shout out to Atheon. Scratch the V. Shout out to you, light skin. Um, anybody listening to this that has that, like, urge to get to the West Coast or whatever, you're a loser. You have to go, like, pfft. I'm here all the time. I'm here for fucking a month now. Mm-hmm. Like, I basically live here, really, Jesus. almost. Mm-hmm. What? Like, I walk in the street, they're like, don't come work. I'm like, what's up, girl? They're like, we love you in Crenshaw, bitch. We love you in Compton. You know what I mean? I was here for 30 minutes, and somebody was like, I love you so much. And she wasn't even paying attention. This was her. It was Rachel. Shout out to Rachel. We love Rachel. She's texting. And she's like, Demona? Because she heard my voice, and nobody sounds this thorough over here. <laughs> like, don't nobody got this gangster-ass rasp. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no black and miles over here. I'm giving Jada kiss. Listen, this is going to be all over the place because I'm super excited right now. It's like building up in my chest. Pause. She said, remember what you said about black and miles? She says, Demona. And I said, it's me. She said, I fucking love you. Oh, my God. Since Pat Ready, which is cool. That's how you know. Y'all know what y'all be doing. You say Pat Ready, I know you official. Because you why, why you being weird to me, bitches are a little, mm. a little clout chasey. Like, girl, please. That's. You know, it's small. Um, no, but she's like, oh, I love this. is Pat Ready, blah, blah, blah. She's like, oh, Kevin, blah. I end up in the Airbnb, a room down from my friend. I'm sure I told the story already. So what? Now I'm talking to the leaser, and I'm getting an apartment there. I'm getting a penthouse. <laughs> That's where I live now. <laughs> this is such a great story. And guess what's connected to the building, Phelps? Starbucks. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Guess who's addicted to Starbucks? Time flies. Mm-hmm. And me too. We love it. LA time. Um, either way, I wanted to talk about, about Black and Miles briefly because I know that I talked about on this podcast already that LA is going crazy. At the end of the day, I'm a hood nigga. We were blessed these last couple of years. God himself, Jesus, blessed the streets with something called unemployment. Oh. <laughs> Can we have a moment of silence for all the unemployment that we lost? Damn! <laughs> What? Shout out to USA Bank Relia Cards. Shout out to all my niggas that had one. I seen Relia Cards in the poppy store. The strike wore out. Wore out. Yeah, man. Yo, we found the USA Bank ATM here. And this is how retarded I am. Here I go. They got an unemployment ATM. Oh, my mm. God. In actuality, that's, that's a real that's bank, Phelps. Yeah. And they don't have that bank on the East Coast. Would you say that? I can hear his a disappointment in the mm, because I was confused about the ATM. <laughs> Either way, over here on the West Coast is EDD. You know, we had PUA. Them, 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 them. I don't know. Not me. You know what I mean? But most people got 15 to 20 grand. You know what I mean? A minimum. You know what I mean? Fuck them back this time. We got them back. Yeah. Not me, but niggas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Some might consider that reparations. Some might consider you owe me a couple dollars about my grandma, nigga. Right? My I grandma was that. a wet nurse, motherfucker. 
That's right. Yeah. You know what a wet nurse is? Huh? Mm. Not you either, Dad. Dre's Ed- dad now. Educators. A wet nurse is the slave whose job was to nurse the children. So oh. all day. And they have these pictures with these black women and these huge breasts with white babies connected to them. Now you only make milk if you're making milk for your kids. So you would... You would feed the master's kids all day, and then you would go home and give nothing to your baby. That's crazy. Because you That's wouldn't have anything up. left. Yeah. Welcome to America. So, technically, when you steal from the government, you know, you could kind of pretend that that was for your grandma that got pretty fucked over. Or whatever grandma you want. The slavery grandma, Jim Crow grandma, grandma that got blue with the fire eyes. Yes. You know what I mean? Because we was fucked over pretty much over and over and over and ass. But let's move on from that. Um, no, LA has been amazing the whole entire time. I really, really enjoyed it. Like, seriously, it is in the air. If you're thinking about moving to the West Coast or you want to come here and it just looks real bright and bubbly, it is. Can you see the fucking background? It just gives this thing to you. Can you feel it? Because you're from a terrible place, I too. I feel it. I feel it. You're from it ain't Boston. That terrible, though. Like, oh. we got some shit. You know? Yeah. Slades. Snow. Slades. Yeah. Poop. Either way. Um, yeah, he's from Boston. Shout out to Brockton. Shout out to Brockton. You're not from Brockton. You're not from Brockton, but I feel like if I was from Boston, I would be a Brockton bitch. Shout out to all the Brockton bitches. Mm. Bop, bop, bop. I don't know. I feel like Roxbury. Okay. Shout out to Roxbury. Yeah. Bop. You don't know me. Brockton is like Kensington, I think. I don't know what Kensington is. <laughs> I'm gonna show you know what I'm gonna do for you because we're that? friends. I'm gonna show you Kensington. Kensington I'm gonna take Beach. you on a tour, just us. You're gonna take I'm gonna to take the you beach? to Kensington Beach and leave you there for you to enjoy yourself. <laughs> that don't sound like a good a place I want to be left. <laughs> Guess what? It's a beach with no sand, nigga. Mm, that's <laughs> a park then, right? This this is something else. A park with a puddle. I would wear boots because the puddle have needles in it. Mm, yeah, we'll <laughs> skip that trip. Um, either way, we had a great time. I have friends here, so I got to connect with so many people that I, you know, um, I went to a Club Station. When I, I had to write it down, child. I'm old bitch. Station sixteen forty on a fucking Monday. On a Monday, Megan Good walks past. She says, "Hey, Tom." She knew Tom by name. <laughs> she knew Tom by name. How many DMs have you sent? How many pictures have you liked? She says hello. <laughs> she walks past. She's like, are y'all in line? Y'all deserve to be at the front. Come with me. We go in. I snort a line of coke off her ass. We had a great time. <laughs> psych. Psych. That's not how it went. But she did say hello. We went in. I was in a section. This fucker met Tiffany Haddish. I ended up just being in the section next to her, so I didn't even fucking meet her. It was sucked, you know? It was a Philly nigga in there, Spank. Shout out to fucking Spank from Philadelphia. He's a comedian like me. Tiffany Hatch was right next to me. Bald ass head. I'm like, damn, <laughs> this is crazy. I would have loved to say hello to Tiffany Haddish, but I'm from Philadelphia. In Philadelphia, you could be in a mall, your grandmother's on the other side. If you have to go, grandma That's too versus much. my mom, Guess what? You ain't speaking to your grandma. Because that's Joe. And is that psychotic? Yes. But like a true Philadelphian, son of bitches, I ain't even look at them bitches in the peripheral. I don't give a fuck that Tiffany Haddish right there. Even though I'm screaming from the inside. Wow. Sucks being from Philly. Either way, <laughs> um, at their station, it was just a lot of people there. I feel like I missed out. Not pointing to mention. <laughs> Listen, sidebar, it's karaoke. That was a real laugh from Tom Flies. <laughs> it's karaoke, and I just want to let you guys know, I hate people that can sing that sing for real during karaoke. I fucking loathe it. Like, you know you can sing, whore. You know what I mean? You know you can sing Luther Vandross. Why are you showing your skills here like that? And the way Dre looks, he might be one of them. Mm-hmm. That's dipping out full out runs. <laughs> Everybody knows karaoke is about the lip sync versus the singing ability. Don't be a fucking weirdo and sing for real. <laughs> that sucks. Watch me in the comments. Oh my God, I've been singing for three years. I killed karaoke. So what, bitch? We hate when you go up there. Man. You're taking the fun out of it. And you're putting a bunch of unnecessary pressure on the rest of us that are singing inclined. Mm-hmm. What about us? With them, because clearly I can sing. <laughs> you need some piano behind that. That's later. Dre plays the piano. Like Mozart. Is he playing? 
I went to, thank God for time, I went to bowling, which sucks because who fucking bowls, losers? Either way, Phelps and Drake can bowl there like battling. <laughs> like the whole time, like who's the better bowler? And then Drake really whooped your ass. You embarrassed me. <laughs> Drake like, won by like 10 pins. At the last, you no, feel me? but he came from zero to like 500, and you allowed it. No. We were in the winning, and I had four strikes back to back. Mm. Remember that part when I got all the strikes? Remember? <laughs> that part when I struck when I stroke, no. when I struck it. No, I was stroking it till I striked it. Either way, um, I'm in a bowling alley, minding my fucking business. Um, it's uh, Puff Daddy. Yeah. Puffy. You're not even that. Bad boy. That one. Mm. <laughs> the fuck? And guess what I did to that nigga, Tom? Nothing. Hey, look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Not for a second. For a minute, I glazed a little bit. Like, my eyes watered. I wiped my face and I turned away. You know? I love Puff Daddy. Like, for real. I call him Puff Daddy. I haven't even went with the name changes. P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, Puff Love, Dr. Love. I love Puff Daddy. I'm Big mouth pup daddy. Teeth protruding a bit, pup daddy. <laughs> Dance in a club, sweaty pup daddy. Throw parties down DC, pup daddy. Love him. <sighs> wow. It's, you know, ever since I've lived, I moved here, everything in my life has really changed. Like, it's just, I'm, my trajectory, I got that from um, Dre earlier. My trajectory is like a roller coaster. I'm on my way up. I'm on my way up. And LA people are like Philly people because a lot of people didn't necessarily say hi, but they would go, she funny as shit. And then other person would go, yeah, she's funny. Which I prefer. Like, let's not say hello. You know what I mean? Let's just wait. Um, yeah, so LA's great. You need to get over here. And now I'm here. If you need me, you're looking for me. I owe you money. You need to come here. Um, Cardi B sued Tasha K. Let's, let me get it real quick. Tasha K is like a blogger, gossip girl lady or whatever. Tasha K, I remember this a little bit because I remember she was talking to uh, a girl that said she was Cardi's roommate. And it was just like, for me, it's like, like, God damn it, please don't interview my old friends, my old roommates. Like, the fact that anybody even will sit down and have a conversation to me with, the, with that person, it says a lot because it's like, why the fuck are you? If Cardi B wasn't Cardi B, that bitch would not care where she was to do an interview. But the fact that she's dumb, successful, right? Now we're going to talk to somebody, you know, oh, she used to do to and leave one turd in the toilet. Every mm -hmm. time I went to the bathroom, it would be one turd. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, I don't know. I Y'all know I'm anti-gossip bloggy. That's not my thing. Um, and I don't judge the other people that do it, but it's just like, some of it just seems real hateful, vindictive, like obsession almost. Either way, I remember um, Tasha K talking to that neighbor. I remember the neighbor seeming like a psycho to me. Like the stories she were telling were just stupid. She ain't had no money. I paid for the cab. It was like, who fucking cares, bitch? Yeah. You should have stayed like this on that bitch yeah. if you were smart. Because <laughs> you might be in the background in the videos. You know what I mean? You might have a little broom sweeping up the kitchen. Something. <laughs> because whatever you're selling now is not working out. Because if it was, you wouldn't be doing interviews about living with a popping ass bitch. But she sued Sasha K. I don't know how much money Sasha K makes, but I looked at her bread briefly. It looks like she's rolling $3.8 million. Foreclosure. It's over. Pack it up. Me, I wouldn't pay it. I would move like Spain. You know what I mean? Like I would go down. I would go underground. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm ducking that wreck. I'm not like how the game did. The game never paid that bitch. Game still walk around with a chain on. He don't pay nothing. He catch the bus everywhere. <laughs> he lived with his grandmother. He put everything in his grandmother's name. <laughs> Either way, I don't know what Tasha K gonna do. That's terrible. I, I hate to see that type of shit, but I don't know. I feel like I'm sure Cardi probably feels vindicated, you know, especially when somebody going around saying you got herpes and you don't, and then you could prove that, you know what I mean? That's a hell wow. of a bone to put on a bitch, ain't it? Out of pocket. Which herpes was it? Was it the big bump herpes or was it just simplex one? Oh. Damn, I don't know. Cardi seems sensitive to me, like me. Cardi reminds me of myself in a lot of different ways. And I always thought she was very, very hilarious. Um, and I think she's smart. But shout out to Cardi B. We like you here. All right? Facts. We like you here. We spoke briefly. She's a cool girl. Um, I don't know. I just feel like maybe that would change the tide of things. Like, 
at least dub good journalism, you check out your lead. You see if it's right, if it's any, you know, validity to it. You make sure, kind of, because if not, it's just going to be bitches, baby dads, just paying, you know what I mean? So it's like, I'm here for that part, you know? And honestly, I don't care if Cardi B got herpes, like, on some real shit. That's not really, like, a concern for me. I don't know why I'd be a concern for anybody you know, I caught a trick when I was 20. Let's just put it out there. I got trick of motors when I was 20, Phelps. Let me tell you the whole story. So, <laughs> it's not a story. I just got trick. I fucked a dirty yeah. nigga. Do you know what trick of motors is? Nah. You had it. Stop lying. What you mean I had it? When that Men out, carry trick of motors, but y'all don't get tested <laughs> for it. Men carry trick of motors, but y'all don't get tested for it. Like, when you test your penises, it don't come out, but y'all give it to people. Mm. Yeah, I had trick. Gotcha. Nigga tricked me on my spot, gave me trick. <laughs> you feel me? I'm a real nigga at SCD, you know? I've been down that road, baby. What? Mm. My nigga, dump or die. Bro, oh, it's a God. lifestyle, baby. What condom? Jamal you wouldn't be Bitch. asking me to use no condom if you really like me. <sighs> Look at him, disappointment. I can't. <laughs> this is exactly why. You need to be back there, Dre, and not here. Because your disappointing eyes are burning a fucking hole on my face. Dre does dad eyes. He does this. Like, he'll look at you over his sunglasses. Like, <laughs> being such a dumb ghetto bitch. It's a lot of pressure. Either way, um, you know, you can use condoms if, you want, if you're a wimp. <laughs> you trying to have a good time? Or you trying to fucking use a condom? Nah, I'm joking. Mm -hmm. I'm pro condom here. I want to literally go around the room and ask every person if they had an STD, but I'm going to let y'all slide today, okay? I know my nigga Tom has lived a full life. That's what I'm going to say. Okay. You feel me? Real niggas get burnt, baby. As long as it's not the one that the joint that don't leave. The Magic Johnson. We straight. I wouldn't even talk about that. I was talking about herpes. Oh, the yeah. real? I don't even think about the triple letters because I ain't getting that shit. Mm. Dodging that shit like COVID. You hear me? Gotcha. Yeah. Nah, I ain't fucking with no AIDS, nigga. I'm yeah, a real nigga. for that. Now, but it's too much. They make too much money with the AIDS medication to really, you know. Yeah. That's not even no conspiracy theory. I just don't think that they're going to drop that, you know, that pair of J's, you know. People worry about getting AIDS anymore? No. Mm. It's, it's something if I get out, I cry, like, for real, for real. You <laughs> I stand in that window when it's dark out, I cry. <laughs> I can picture you crying it's like a slow. I can picture like classical music with a slow tear coming down. I'll call Dre to get on the piano. And I... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. No, AIDS. I remember we had that girl DM about catching AIDS. Remember that? Oh, yeah. yeah, she uh was just saying she and she was open like I was a hoe back then. I fucked a lot. Yeah, it's so crazy because it's scary. The scariest part is that. So many people get it from like their boyfriend or their husband, you know, yeah. and it's not a gay disease anymore. It's totally a heterosexual disease. Wear condoms, blah, blah, blah. You know the right thing. <sighs> you know, if you're a wimp. Um, something happened with Joe Biden and, and vax, vaccination regulations. I'm not really fluid on that, but I need to talk about that because I feel like I have to. But basically, correct me if I'm wrong, and I know you will, Shaquita. Um mm. Biden tried to make it so those big companies, everybody had to be vaccinated that worked for them, like a McDonald's or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then the Supreme Court was like, fuck out of here, old nigga. And they shook that shit off and told him no and sent the nigga back home with it. And he went home with his head down. I just saw him on television, call somebody an asshole. You see that? I like that, Joey. I like that energy, you old bitch. He's such an old fucker. He's such an old fuck. You know, if you lived in, like, China, you said that they would drag your child to slit your throat. That's what we need here, honestly. We need more tyrants. So I wonder what happened to all the people that got fired for not getting vaccinated. Oh, God. You know what happened to them? them out. Those bitches going to be walking down with a sign. You yeah, know how they do? Yeah. What about us? They got to cash them people us? out. White rage. I'm here for it. <laughs> Love it. Um, yeah, so whatever. Hopefully that helps or don't help or whatever. The whole vaccination thing is so confusing, hell. So that money we cash at do it at the door, we should get that shit back. I don't <laughs> Cut that out. I don't know what he's saying. Um <laughs> I wanted to talk about this and I didn't want to talk about this and I do the OTF. Okay. Do the OTF is a rapper. 
Dudio TF's ex girlfriend posted a video of her son telling this terrible story about Duty putting screws in his anus. The little boy's like five or six. Terrible story. Y'all gonna get mad. I don't care. Most people in the comments when I would see it posted would say, oh, I could tell by his voice telling the truth. He didn't sound, to me, sound like he was coached to say that, but there's a kid you don't really know. At the end of the day, in all situations like that, rape, molestation, whatever, you just believe the victim and you figure out the rest at the end. But he was like professing his innocence the whole time. He dropped a song, blah, blah, blah. The girl was posting stuff, doing stuff, doing interviews or whatever. This nigga dropped a goddamn letter from the state attorney. It was a lie. Not only was a lot of little boy told the state, the whoever he talked to, whoever cop he talked to, investigator he talked to, told him that his that she, my mommy made me say it. I know that duty's a bad person because my mommy told me he was. So that he doesn't even have a negative interaction with his old stepdad, right? Um, then he said he went on to say, my mommy, I got locked in with the bomb. My mommy showed me how to make macaroni and cheese. Or on the stove or in the microwave by myself. So now when I'm home alone, I can cook for myself. He's six. She living that nigga home alone. Now you didn't run in your mouth. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Told you to say that shit about duty and that's it, nigga. Shout out to you, bitch. You done took that loud mouth motherfucker down there telling your business. Girl, you got a DHS case. Whole joint. I think that's the most terrible thing in the world. I mean, at the end of the day, state attorney, letter or not, People see him, they're going to think about that little boy. And what about the people that don't see the post with the state attorney? And trust and believe the blogs do not push it like they push the accusations. No. That is terrible. Guess what I think? I think girls or uh, whoever that have these fake stories, boys, whoever, fake stories about people in an effort to ruin careers and lose money and shit, when it comes out that it's true, I think that they should get in trouble for it. Consequences. Fuck with the police, yes. I think it should be consequences. So if not the police, at least like lawsuits. Like you have to lose all your shit or pay somebody something. That shit is not right. I know a lot of people that get accused for rape and shit and all kind of wild shit. It's just... Some old bitter ass bitch. That's insane. If that girl, you know what I mean? I mean, it's like even now, this is how built I am to believe the victim. I'm still saying if, but it's like state attorney. And then it's not just the state attorney. It's the fact that he's saying the, the things that he's saying in the interview. Like mommy told he was bad. Mommy told me this is what happened to my butt. Mommy told me it hurt his life. Oh my God. And then it's like, he's such a little kid. Now he got to think about that screws in his ass oh girl you are a piece of shit people like that like they don't get better she's always gonna be a piece of shit you gotta stay away from that type of bitch she is rough that's crazy i wonder what her sign is probably a pisces like don't crazy. pin that with no see see <laughs> see i don't know it's freaky that's some wild shit you don't think they should be locked up for that yeah something something gotta happen to you I don't even believe in locked up. I think we should go back to doing like public stonings or lashings. Ass whoopings. Yeah, like put the bitch in the pit with all his sisters. <laughs> you feel me? Trust me, the sisters will get it done. They've been <laughs> pissed the whole time. His female friends and his sisters, they are hot. Coming in hot. You know what I mean? That's what I think. I think that something need to happen. And I am not a jail person. I'm not somebody to say, this person needs to go to jail, that person needs to go to jail, but that bitch needs to go to prison. That is crazy to put that on that poor head ass me. He already funny looking. The accuser should be next to the rapist. Or something. And then really, if not for nothing, is to deter the next person. What's in place for you not to do that? Why would you not do that? Do you have no reason not to do that? And I guarantee you, right before she did it, she texted that motherfucker like, I'm going to show you who, who the bitch is. Because you know we can threaten. No, we threaten a nigga and really get him. You ever tell a nigga you going to fuck his life up and really fuck his life up? <laughs> a joy. What? Look at her. She crazy. She, car, she carved her name in, <laughs> in, uh, in cars and shit. Use keys. Snicker bars in a gas tank. <laughs> I, never, I didn't what? know that one. Yes. Bust your head with a bat. All kind of shit. But some bitches get diabolical. You know what I mean? Drop the low to the op. Bow, bow, nigga gone. Shit, that's some Philly shit. Shout out to the Philly bitches. Wow, it's rough. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Y'all need to stop doing fuck. Duty, what did you do to her first? What did you do to her first? Side, side, that's a joke, Duty. Happy for you, Duty. You need to get that put on a shirt or a tattoo or something, nigga, because you're going to have a rough time. I didn't see C-Mac yet. 
They haven't took me to the hood yet. I haven't seen Inglewood, Crenshaw, Compton, nothing. Nobody wants to go. They Dead know. homies. I ain't heard that yet. Listen, you know, exactly, because you're not in the right <laughs> neighborhoods. You know, I was talking to Phelps. Me and Phelps was on foot. Phelps actually rode a scooter to Little Korea alone. <laughs> and I don't know which one of you bitches he went to fuck, but he rode over there in a scooter, you nasty bitch. He couldn't even ride to take you nowhere to get nothing to eat on that scooter. And you went over there and gave that ass up. The motherfucker, the, the car declined on the way home. The motherfucker just dragged it. Bitch, on. <laughs> no, it didn't decline. He kept taking the places you're not allowed to take it because you're not allowed to ride it on Hollywood Boulevard, Tom. <laughs> you're not. Listen, um, I say to Phelps, walking down a dark alley, I said, look, they robbing niggas. We need a pistol. Honest truth, Phelps said, you'll be getting strapped and we'll get it. <laughs> call somebody for the gun. This is a factual thing, right? <laughs> he calls somebody for the gun. They're going to call us back. This is what Phelps says. Because Phelps is ignorant. You know what, Demona, honestly, we don't need the gun. Because once that motherfucker approaches, smell that black smoke, he going to know. <laughs> he going to know not to fuck with us. Um, Did we have any static the whole time we've been down here? We haven't. And only static we saw were from East Coast Psychos. Remember we saw the, 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 um, the New York nigga that told the, the homeless oh, guy, oh. you are like a scum on the bottom of my shoe, nigga. You are scum, nigga. You scum on the bottom of my shoe, nigga. Word to mommy. Y'all everywhere acting stupid. Word of my dad. They was fighting us out of station? Yeah, Why you come get station. me? They was mixing. Mixing was <laughs> like a fist fight. Oh, look, Derek saw my mixing because he didn't know what that meant because he's from what Boston. What happened, Derek? <laughs> he said, Yo, they mixing. Like, nigga, what? They mixing over there. So, we, you know, we checked it out. He didn't know what, what I was talking it? about. We call it fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Boston has a thick accent. Boston is cool. we doing a show. We're doing a Why You Being Weird to Me show over there, aren't we? Yeah, let's turn it up. You haven't even told these motherfuckers where shout to out to, Shout out to Boston. Yeah. America. How, what's the page? What's your Instagram page? America's Nightmare. America's Nightmare. Black man. Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's it. And he's a cancer. Y'all know I track cancer. He's a cancer. Good people. He's squad now. You see I got the chain on. Listen, they keep reminding me of the time because we're in LA and nobody wants to sit and do this stupid shit. So let's wrap it up. It's been real. Have a good one. Woo! Joke, 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 joke. Um, I'm serious about the manifestations, and I, I want to just real quick fucking do stuff. I was wanting to come to LA for like two years, two and a half years, drag my feet. My friend died, Fuquan. I would enjoy Fuquan for every minute here. Don't drag your feet. Do what you got to do. Make it happen. Stay in Little Korea because Hollywood's a bit expensive, you know? Eat Subway while you're here at McDonald's. You can't afford everything, but you can afford the experience. And this is really a hustler city. You can fill in the air. Everybody's here trying to work, trying to get something done. And don't be all touristy and run after Chris Rock when you see him like it's LA bitch. Act like you you don't see him. Duh. Mm -hmm. Um, do we have a voicemail? Mm -hmm. Okay. Why don't Rhonda we misses us. Rhonda says she misses in the group message. Shout out to Rhonda. Wow, wow, wow. Love you, Rhonda. Can't wait to give you another demerit, babe. Facts. Hey Mona, my name is Sunny. I just started listening to your podcast and I fucking love it. You are so funny to me. Anywho, I just wanted to know um, top five Philly rappers. I, I noticed that you really love rap music, so I want to know your top five Philly rappers and then your top five, period. This is a good one, Dre. Keep up the good work, girl. Bye. All right, 10 Sunny, minutes. God damn. I love you because that's a good one. And thanks for watch, for listening and watching. I appreciate you. And thank you all for listening and watching. I see them YouTube videos going crazy. Copy the link and put it in your group message and send it to your grandma. Because this, YouTube's easy for grandparents. Send them links around, okay? I appreciate y'all, though. Most people like it. Don't you want to spice the conversation up because you're a little dry? Put me in that bitch. <laughs> put me in that group message. Um... <laughs> First of all, my favorite, I do love rap. My favorite rapper in the world is Beanie Siegel, South Philly's own, okay? From Siegel Street, that's number one. He's number one on both lists all throughout time in Philly. Philly, I'm going to go with um, Beanie Siegel, Petey Crack. I feel like Petey Crack is really influential on starting that reggae tone shit. They give it to Pitbull. It was really Petey. You know, PD Indy 5000, that was like a moment in time, mm -hmm. those mixtapes, right? The young one, like, what the fuck are they talking about? Um, oh, 
Fuck, Petey, Beanie, um, Vodka, Vodka Thousand. I had to make Big Daddy proud over there. <laughs> Vodka Thousand Proof. Um, it was a guy, that Holly. Holly, Holly, Holly. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh man. Um, of course you gotta do Meek, right? Meek, Meek can't yeah. not be on the list, right? Listen, this I'm new to this guy, but I really like I like core. I like core. Core correct. You say? Nah. I don't there's um no, 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 absolutely not. But I love her though. You know um, what I mean? Tom said Philly, is a, now. Philly got a lot though. That's the it's thing. So many to like yeah. and compared so, to other places. Right. But I'm saying of all time from Philadelphia. Chris. I really want to say Chris, but I feel like I don't want to. So top, okay. Right, y'all gonna be. Okay, earth. I don't see. give a fuck. Lyric. We talking about lyricists. We gonna go Beanie Siegel, right. PD Crack Vodka, Meek Mills, and I'm putting Cooley on the list. And I don't care how y'all. That's feel a good about list. It. Yeah, Quill that's a good list. list. Lyrical. Yeah, Quinn is a. Now top five all time for me is Beanie Siegel. Um. This is so much harder than it has to be. Beanie Siegel, Young Thug. Um, I don't care about what y'all got to say. Beanie Siegel, Young Thug, Jay Z, because I'm a fucking '80s baby. Um, who am I? Biggie. Biggie. I guess Biggie, but like, y'all don't like Cassidy cool. and Philly. No, nobody. Oh, else. Ho, 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 ho! I like them pre-accident. Pre-accident, he was crazy. After the accident, I don't, his rap style changed. Nobody likes fast even mm. folks. Okay. <laughs> um, and he can rap, but he's just not. A, you know what I mean? Not. A, he's not a Philly favorite. Not a fan. Fan favorite. Um, so we doing Jay Z, Benny Siegel, Biggie Smalls, um, Young Thug. I should do a Southern guy. We are in the West. Mm. Now that's fucking hard for me. If out of all the West Coast niggas, honestly, I probably listen to the most the game. That's probably the most I listen to a West Coast. That's game. your list. Yeah. That's your list. I don't want him to be on my list. <laughs> I don't want him to be on the list. I'll put Jada on the list first. Jada, yeah. yeah. You ain't got So I do kissing beanie seagull. I had to lose weight because I ate too many beanie Max. You lucky I let that go, nigga. You lucky I let that go. And shout out to Styles P because I'm a huge Styles P fan. Double RT and a body. Listen, I love Styles P. And his fucking wife got him to send me a message with that fucking voice. Changed my life, man. Shout out to her. She's gorgeous. We need a juice from them. Yeah. I think that's it, though. I'm not missing nobody, though, right? That's uh, a good... You made two good lists. Two yeah. good lists. You approve? Two good lists. Thank you so much. It's hard for Beanie, Biggie Smalls, though, because he's been going for so fucking long. Bro, my mom told me Biggie Smalls died in the, living room, in the kitchen, and I cried, and that was 97. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, it's, he just, but I guess he's supposed to just stay there with two albums and one mixtape. You know, it's sad. It fucking sucks, yeah. I listened to Pac, though. I did, but I, but I, he's not on any list, though. I'm fan of for Pac for a lot of other things, yeah. not just rap. And I'm sure y'all like, I got this. Shout out to this nigga here. He's somebody. Eric. Right? You know what song I like of his? The dope point then is always hard. Come talking that shit, we'll pull your card. Knowing nothing in life but to be legit. Don't touch me, boy. I ain't said shit. They don't know, folks. What instrument that was? I don't like when you laugh hard at other people. Um, the dark side of my DM. My DMs are always dark. This is more informational. It says, don't call me white girl. How much is it to eat your butt? That would be seventeen fifty now that I'm from LA. Cash app. Money sign. DCWMG. Is that right? Don't call me white girl. Mm. $1,750. To eat my ass. Oh no 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 one thousand one thousand seven hundred fifty dollars <laughs> to eat my ass on the West Coast West Coast excuse me West Coast time plus tax right the tax is sort of probably ran up to like twenty eight hundred mm -hmm. two thousand eight plus the time difference tax part that's thirty two hundred <laughs> plus glam craves here that's thirty four hundred. Yeah, Little and then Dre got to look over the agreement. So that's probably another 1000 So probably 5000 The debris cleanup. <laughs> oh, Phelps said add another 100 
$100 uh, part that's for the debris clean out. Because he'll clean my ass with <laughs> yeah. debris prior to you coming out. He'll get the debris no, out no. of it. Thank you no. for joining us. I hope you enjoyed. I appreciate you. I've been loading y'all up with the best episodes ever. Like, aren't you appreciative? My birthday's February 12th. Dre, it did. cash app. Put it here. He, he shakes his head no to this every time. I don't know why. Why we can't just like... Mm. Mm-hmm. Reading mm-hmm. Rainbow. Mm-hmm. Take a look. Is in your book. Is in the rainbow. Shout out to LeVar Burton. <laughs>